So here at Rhode Island College, our lab school is a place for us to use for practicum settings, is a place for our teacher candidates to learn about teaching and practice under the guidance of master teachers. The professor from the Feinstein is also a certified kindergarten teacher. It's a good example that we can use to show how higher ed and K-12 can work together. Because the collaboration can become so deep and so multifaceted, our teacher candidates get to see that in action. We're seeing best practice here, and that's what our students need to be exposed to. My students are going to start their day with Dr. Capraro and watch how she teaches mathematics. We went out into the courtyard and the kids picked some leaves and had separated it into grids. They did sort of multiplication based on the leaves that were in the separated grids. When they return to my class, we are going to discuss the mathematical practice standards. Constructivism um, is when students are using their environment and the people around them to learn. The how we teach math, not the what. When my professor talks about things, I actually know the implication of the things that she's saying because I got to see those implications firsthand. They don't only come to Henry Barnard. They come to Henry Barnard and they go to Central Falls and they go to Pawtucket and they go to North Providence. So they see a lot of different classrooms. When they come here, we try to show them how you can incorporate choice and purpose into assignments, even in first grade. I have what we call a cooperating teacher. We talk to the children and say you have two teachers in the classroom. It's not the fact that you have a student in the classroom or someone learning. She's a co-teacher. In this model, she doesn't really sit in the background at all. She's involved from day one. We do read-alouds together and we kind of bounce ideas off of each other and I think it's a really healthy relationship. I think the most effective teacher training programs do have long-term support and mentoring. It's in the checkbox, you're not done. You have to keep coming back and keep learning more. And they need as much development as they can get to become an effective teacher. I'm encouraged now that we're going to turn out some good teachers. Many of our courses are held on the second floor of the Henry Barnard School. And down below we'll hear the music, the children singing, and you know, you just see the smiles break out on the faces of our teacher candidates. I love kids and I love working with them. Going into the classroom, it's like a reaffirmation, like this is where I need to be.